Okay, this is the fifth video in our low poly series, and in this um, video we're going to get a small bit of animation happening. So what we're going to do to start with, you can see I've added my landscape, we've got our trees, we've got our clouds. At the bottom here we've got our timeline, so this shows um, basically the sequence of events that's going to happen in our animation. It starts at 1 and it ends at 1000. I'm going to change that to 250 for a minute just to keep this short so I can see it all on one screen. But if I do want to make animations happen slower over a longer time I can change that and then I can use the slide button along here to move along. Okay, put that back to 250. Okay, now I'm at the starting position here and here I'm going to select uh, lock rotate scale. I'm going to click on with the right hand mouse button on the cloud and I'm going to lock it into position and I'm going to do that with each of the clouds because I'm going to want some of these to move. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the end of the time. I'm going to click on this cloud. I'm going to press on G to allow me to move it and it's going to go across but it's also going to go up a little bit. And then I'm going to lock it in position there. I'm going to do the same with here. But it's going to go slightly down. The wind's obviously blowing a slightly different direction. And I'm going to lock that there. Now if I press on the play button, what we should see is that they start to move along, but they're not moving at quite the same speed. And then it'll go th right the way through, and it will repeat those. Okay. Now we can do the same with these ones. So if we go back to the end here, we can obviously have them going to a different position midpoint, but for simplicity I'm making these go to the end at the moment. So this is going to go to, it's not going to go very far, it's just going to cross to there. And this one's pretty much at the end of the sequence, so I'm just going to move him to there. But that way we should see a little bit of movement on all of them, so it doesn't look like there's no wind in some sections. Okay. I'm also going to want the trees to move a little bit, so I'm going to click on one of the trees, I'm going to click on well, I'm do the same again. I'm going to go back to the start. I'm going to lock that in position. And I'm going to lock that in position. I'm going to lock that in position. I'm going to lock that one in position. And I'm going to lock that one in position. And I'm going to click on this tree. And then click on R, which allows me to rotate it. And all I want it to do really here is I just want it to move slightly to one side. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to lock that position. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to click on R and Z, just rotate a little bit. Hopefully that will look a little bit like it's um, spinning around. Lock that in. Now if we watch that again, hopefully, as the clouds go past, we should see a little bit of movement on the trees. Not a lot, but just hopefully enough just to make them look <laughs> possibly like they're spinning, but ideally like they're moving in the wind. Okay, now I'm going to pause that. Now this is using Blender Render. If we want a more detailed render, we should change that to Cycles Render. If I do that, this is going to take a very long time to render, so for the purpose of this I'm going to keep it on the Blender Render. If I press on F12 now, we can see how this would look rendered. And I'm going to press on play. You sort of find it runs through, and it should start to run through the sequence on the second run. We should start to see some of these moving around. I think because of my processor, it's struggling a little bit with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight on to saving it. So I'm going to go to the video option here. And what I should have here is set that to 1080 choose a directory to save it in where I can find it, I'm just going to put it on my desktop and press accept I don't want to save it as a set of pictures, I want to save it as uh, FMMPEG video now if that isn't an option then you may need to look for using um, HD two six four which will also work okay now once I've set that I'm going to go into animation and what I should start to see is it should start to render the actions that are happening and you'll see it's running along the timeline as it's doing it now once that's completed 
will take a little bit of time that will drop into the place I saved it so in my case I've dropped it into my desktop and you can see the video starting to appear here so that once it's complete I should just be able to play that as a short animation okay the video has eventually stopped uh, rendering so if we now double click on it to open it we can now see our clouds moving across and we can see a little bit of movement on the trees they do look a little bit like they're responding although probably it would have looked better if we would got them moving side to side rather than rotating I also like the way the clouds are moving so we get a nice shadow effect what I now need to look at is whether we add in some animals or some other actions to start to build this into a more of a moving animation and obviously if we change the time from 250 to 1000 the clouds would have moved slower and the whole animation would have been a little bit longer okay I'm going to stop it there and then we can continue with this uh, next time